A collective enfranchisement is a term used to describe when a group of leaseholders join together to buy the freehold to their building. Sometimes a freeholder might be willing to sell the freehold to, freehold to a group of leaseholders, but generally collective enfranchisement is used to describe the statutory process that leaseholders can follow to force the landlord to sell them the freehold interest. The flat owners don't have to prove the landlord's done anything wrong to use this process and neither do they have to have owned the flats for any period of time or even to live in the flats they might rent them out. Um, as long as the building qualifies to be enfranchised and as long as at least half the flat owners in the building participate in the process then they can force the landlord to sell them the freehold. This can be an attractive option particularly where the leaseholders are unhappy with the way the building's being managed. In summary, to qualify um, to be able to enfranchise, the building needs to be a self-contained building or part of a building. Uh, the building must contain at least two flats and at least two-thirds of those flats must be let on long leases. That's a lease longer than 21 years. If the building qualifies, then at least half of the flat owners need to participate in the process to see it through. There are some exceptions to the qualification rules, for example, the leaseholders can't enfranchise if more than 25% of the internal floor space in the building is used for non-residential purposes like a commercial shop or commercial business. There are more detailed qualification criteria and some more exceptions to the rules than the ones I've mentioned here, so it is important for leaseholders to get some advice if they're thinking about starting this process. In terms of the cost of enfranchising, this will depend on the market value of the flats in the building and the length of the leases of each of those flats. Generally it's advisable for leaseholders to get advice from a surveyor as to the part, as to the premium that each leaseholder should pay towards the cost. The process starts by the leaseholder serving what's called a section 13 notice on the landlord. And there's quite strict criteria about what goes in the notice and how it's served. So normally solicitors will do this on behalf of leaseholders. That section 13 notice will also include their first offer as to amount they expect to pay for the freehold interest. And once the landlord receives the notice, they will then generally get their own valuation advice. And they must serve what's called a counter notice within a two month period. And in that counter notice, the landlord will normally include their first offer of what they expect to receive for the freehold interest, and this is generally higher than the leaseholders offer. Once the leaseholders get the counter notice, the parties will normally negotiate the premium, and sometimes their surveyors get involved to help with the negotiations. If an agreement can't be reached, then either party can apply to the first tier property tribunal, and the tribunal will then decide how much the leaseholders need to pay. The whole process takes about six to 10 months to complete on average, and if you are interested in enfranchisement, you can call Anthony Gold's leasehold services team and we can advise you more about the process and give you details of our fixed fees for these services.